Hey nerds. How's it going? Welcome back, Chad. Hope you all enjoying your weekend. How is everybody? Hmm. Good to see y'all. How's it going? Bum, bum, bum. I cannot look at the name for this game and not help but think either uh, Patreon or like Patron, like the drink. <laughs> Every time I see this game. Well, right, let's see if we can bring it up on screen. Oh boy. Well, good morning, Victor. Good to see you. Hi. Hello, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm doing good. Actually, I was up really late last night. I was, uh... I was watching the uh, the new um, Clarkson Farm on Amazon. I, I don't know if it's new, new, but well, I think it came out recently, but I don't know if it came out last night. So that that was cool. I stayed up pretty late for that one, but it was good times. I can't even remember. I know I fell asleep shortly after, but I didn't look at the clock. Hi, everybody. Hey, let's get some ones for the number one community on YouTube. You guys know the drill. Smash that like button if you want to see more city builders on the channel, too. I know you love them. I love them, too. We don't often get uh, really good ones, but uh, Patron, Patron, Patron. We're just gonna call it. We're just gonna call it Patron. Let's get a little Patron in our cup. Uh, if you like yourself, Foundation. If you like Ostrieve. If you like Banished. If you like Life is Feudal. Uh, this is the game for you. This game is really, really good. Actually, there's a lot more to be added to it, and it's hard to judge it completely because it's just an alpha build and a. De it's a demo of an incomplete game, so it's like. It's hard to really judge it, but I like the feelings that it gives me, and I especially like the art style for the game. So it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, you can download this for free, by the way, on Steam until the 22nd. Steam's having this, like, big, uh, like, event for demos of all sorts of games. I've been trying to show off all the interesting ones that I can as frequently as I can, but, you know, like, there's only so many hours in a day. So anyway... Everybody here is a subscriber in the chat, so uh, say hi to the number one community on uh, YouTube. It's good to see you all here, and uh, thanks again for all the support. Yeah, it's a, it's a good game. It's a good game. I, I like it so far. That's why we're back to do more, you know. Uh, good morning. Hey, what's up, Element Air TV? Good morning to all of you. Hopefully, you're all having a great end of your weekend. I hope everybody uh, is uh, staying cool, staying safe, staying sane, uh, staying alive. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Leslie with the four ninety nine, dollars uh, Number one. There you go with the number one. Thank you very much, Leslie. That's very kind of you. Very kind indeed. All right. Um, we're going to jump into this game in a minute or two. I see a lot more people joining. Thank you, YouTube, for actually sending out a, one, at least one notification. That's nice. Oh, we should actually... Um... Oh, yeah. Super Chat's over five bucks. If you write a message, uh, there should be a voice attached to it. Let's see if this works. Well, we know it works, but I just want to make sure I have it active. Scott, thanks for the 10, dude. Appreciate the support, by the way. Very nice, you all. Uh, by the way, if you guys haven't already uh, become members, make sure you click or tap that join button. I've been getting uh, access to a lot of games this week that are coming out next week. So uh, the the YouTuber you're watching is trying to hint to you that there's some big stuff coming up. So uh, after E3... Day, everyone, a new Raptor. Thank you, dude. Uh, yes, yeah, so after E3... This whole week, I've been getting a lot of emails from devs saying, Hey, we got this game coming out, and uh, we want to give you a couple keys to try it out and uh, to give away to your friends or to your viewers. Here you go. And it's like, oh, damn. But the, the rule is I can't play a lot of these until Monday. So next week, I get to play a lot of new games, and I'm going to be dropping some Steam keys in the, in the uh, chat over on the Discord. So make sure you join the Discord down below. Jupiter, welcome aboard. It's a good thing to, to get back to all the people who are, who are members, too, by the way. We've got a lot of members in there, so... Uh, Devs, is that their first name? Yes. Uh, they're, actually, their name is De Dev Veloper. That's their, that's their last name. <laughs> yes, I, this is actually a problem on YouTube recently. Um, if, you're, if you're watching the stream and it looks like blurry or, or if it's not of high quality, for whatever reason lately on, on Steam, e or, I'm sorry, on YouTube, even I've had to like up my quality to like 1080p like manually. So just click the little gear. If you're watching on a mobile phone, or if you're watching the video, either if it's live or after, um, just just click the little the gear and then turn it to like 1080p or 720 or whatever works for you. YouTube, for whatever reason, just keeps defaulting to like a lower quality, even though 
all the videos that I watch are like 1080p or four, or above, like 4K. But yet YouTube keeps putting them down to 360. And one of my videos lately is stuck in 360p. If you guys saw the um, really cool game out there too, by the way, uh, like a survival... Um, it's kind of a survival scavenging game. You don't really get to build, but it's called uh, um, Above Snakes. That one's like locked in 360p, and I don't know why, but YouTube's investigating. So, Mallory, you have to do it for every stream. Yeah, there should be like a setting on YouTube you can do to like permanently make videos like to the highest quality. Like there should be a thing where it auto goes to the highest quality. But, you know, YouTube's YouTube. They, they do all sorts of things to break things. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. All right, ones in chat, if you guys are ready, smash like if you guys are ready. Let's build our city. I think we're going to build a city of, what should we name our city? Should we name it, uh, we, could, we could name it Sim City, Sin City. We could name it, uh, we could name it City Skylines. I'm thinking, I think we should name it like uh, Onesville, Member, Memberburg, no, no. Something like, uh, what, what's cool? What, what's cool nowadays? Are dinosaurs still cool? Dinosaur Nugget, we could name it Dino Nugget. No, that's too long. Should name it like T T Rexville, T He, or like um, Stegosaurusburg, or Rap Raptoria. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, chat. O to the M to the G, he lives, and in my time zone. O to the M to the G, it is life, alive. E E. Uh, mice, thanks for the forty-five Danish kroner. What well, in your time zone? What are you talking about? You're in Denmark. I'm in, I'm in Minnesota. We are... Wait. Are we on, like, Denmark time? <laughs> Standard Denmark time? SDT? Okay. Let's go ahead and begin our uh, new playthrough of Patron. Now, again, remember, demo, incomplete game. Not everything available will be here. So, let's go ahead and begin. Bum, 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 bum. Damn, that beat, though. My mouth seems extra sensitive. There we go. Uh, a little louder. There we go. All right, Raptoria it is. Dinotopia. By the way, uh, uh, members, um, if you guys just became members, if you haven't been around for a while, you guys got a bunch of new emotes. We have uh, a new hunting emote. We got a new hunter hat emote rather than trucker hat. We've got uh, Pinto Bless has been upgraded. We have our new Pog emote, which is Harry. You may remember Harry in a lot of our live streams and stuff. Our good friend from the UK. He's been a, he's been a part of our community for a long, long time. Long time. So if anything exciting happens, you can use the uh, Pog emote. Our team has been kicking ass with uh, bringing in all sorts of new stuff. Oh, there you go. Pretty soon everyone will have their own custom emote. Nice to see Pinto dropping in for a few seconds to pretend to still be... A member of our community. Nice. God. Oh, Pinto, I love to hate you. I love to hate you, my friend. I'm kidding. Pinto's good. He's a good guy. I think. Oh, let's go with the lion. That seems fine. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Unfortunately for the demo, I think we can only build in one place. Which is the Mediterranean. Okay. Bum, bum. Uh, presets. Easy, normal, hard, extreme. Let's do normal. Starting month April. Ooh, there's disasters in the game. Modifies frequency of disasters. Wonder if that means like fire or what? I don't know. Alright, we'll just we'll just throw everything on normal. It's a demo anyway, so it's not like we're gonna be able to get too far. Go with the keys banner so people don't forget them. Well, they won't forget them so long as they're on the Discord. So if you're a member and uh, you haven't yet joined the Discord, now might be a good time. All right, let us begin. Well, this reminds me of the new uh, The Sims DLC coming out where you get to build a cottage. We'll take a look at that when that comes along. All right, let's see. Time to cut down a bunch of trees and start building houses. I'm gonna try to like design it somewhat nice area. There we go. 
Greetings from Belgium. What's up, Eric? How you doing? All right, everybody needs a house. I wonder, is there a button in this game that, like, lets you change the variety of buildings? Sometimes in these games, they, they'll they give you a button that you can use to, like, change the type of house. Like, it's it'll be the same size, but it just changes what it looks like. Building rotation is R. Show annual? What? What is that? Oh, wow. Tents take three leather. Okay. I don't think we have any leather. We'll start with the lumber house, then. The graphics look like Age of Empires 3. Really? I, th I think this really looks a lot like Banished to me. Anybody excited for the new Age of Empires 4 coming out? Actually, let's build some roads first. Um... A dirt road. Uh, subscribe for Barrow Trauma, not for this sad face. You, you, you expect a YouTube channel just to only play one game and that's it? Man, I'd, I'd hate to have that attitude when, there, when there's all these games to play. Yeah, we're going to play in slow and do a lot of nice detail to our village. It's going to look pretty. Okay, where's the door? Oh, look at that. I love that house. Look at all the stuff outside. The barrels and the... There's like a... Like a flower pot and a bunch of other like um, like clay pots and stuff outside. That's nice. This is one thing I want in the game though. Like some of these houses look like they go. This YouTuber is out of control. Unliked and dis sub. No, some of these houses would be good on a corner, but like you, there's got to be a button you can press to like forcefully change the variety, so that way you can kind of build like a somewhat organized neighborhood. I should build like a giant town square, but we kind of didn't get to choose. We're kind of up against the coast. Yeah, well, over the last few years, I've gotten really good at like um, just playing all sorts of different games. And, you know, sometimes it like sometimes people will really like write long berating comments. I, I want to kind of start showing you guys some of the comments that people like how upset people get over people playing games. But. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't know. I. I think we are Chernobyl's toxic enough. I don't think we need any more toxicity. So, um. But for me, it's like, I would rather be, good or okay at a lot of games rather than really, really good at one and get bored of it. Cause I can remember the days of like owning one or two games, like Call of Duty and, uh, like we would play nothing but like uh, World at War. And uh, like Black Ops nonstop. But after a while, it's just like you hit a plateau where, like, you do the best you can, and... I don't know, that just gets... To me, that gets boring. I've been around a while, so I, pl I played them all. I like trying out new stuff. True, but it could be a good laugh. Eh, yeah, it could be. Oh, here we go. People are removing some stones. Nice. For our roadway. Ooh, bird. Pretty. I try to set a, a good example every time, but usually on our channel, the good people are all quiet because they're all busy and they like watching and doing stuff in the background, but the unhappy people, those are the loudest people. And I don't blame them. It sucks to be unhappy, but you can't... You can't... You can't force other people to carry your misery. All right, let's make a fisherman's hut. Again, I I really, really think this game should add a pizza hut, but I I, I guess that apparently wasn't around at these times. But you know, what are you gonna do? Bum 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 bum. 
You're stopping by to drive, drop a like? Well, thank you very much. Yeah, there you go, Steve. Yeah, you're not going to like all the games I play, but neither do I. Like, some of them are just like, ah, oh, I guess that was okay. But, you know, the ones I really like, like Anno and, you know, City Builders, we often come back to because it's really satisfying to, to build over and over again. Damn, I, I love the designs of these buildings. They're really cool. But some of them look like they could be almost like... This looks like it could be a tavern or a blacksmith shop. Just how it kind of like it's separated into like almost two houses. Actually, this gives me idea f ideas for the Sims DLC coming out. You love Anno? Yeah, it's a great game. I, I want it to be more like a, a, a beautiful city builder. Like Anno is... The problem with Anno is that you get so... Uh, invested into um, like uh, optimizing and like playing the game to make a profit that sometimes you forget oh yeah that's right it's a the city builder too like you are building a city and supplying people with food it th that's what's nice about these types of games is that modern city builders are all kind of just about money it's like I want to build a bridge well it takes money I want to build a hospital well it takes money but in these games you have to like you have to gather wood and gather stone and do research and well, we're gonna play this one nice and slow so that way everybody gets a chance to kind of see what it's all about right now we're researching a, a fishing hut so that way we can bring in some food and as soon as a few of these first things first we're gonna do um, we're gonna build houses and then start with a gatherers hut and a uh, hunter and a uh, fishing hut so that way we can get all the stuff does everyone have to take a drink of wine when Raptor says tavern I certainly do like my tavern games, too. Now, uh, there's something nice about building, like, a medieval tavern or a medieval city. And especially because these cities are, again, these are more about having the supplies to build things, not so much the money. Although that's important, too. All right, let's do... Uh, increase herbalist hut's efficiency if near forester's hut. Yeah, we'll just work our way down. Some of these things have... Oh, one of the coolest things I, I remember about this game that I really liked about it is for a lot of your buildings, you can upgrade them tremendously. Like, there's a lot of little upgrades. So, sometimes in games, like in City Skylines, if you need more power, you have to build, like, a whole new power plant. But it would be nice if there was a way to, like, just add, like, another generator or, like, another, you know, like, another generator hall or turbine hall or something. And this game does it nice where it's like, oh, I need more food. I have to build another hunter's hut. No, you don't. You can, like, upgrade it to be able to accommodate another hunter. Like, you can make another hunting station so they can, like, butcher everything. So it's kind of like how it is in Going Medieval, where, like, you can build custom buildings in Going Medieval, right? You can customize pretty much everything. Except in this, it's a, it's a nice balance between, like, making a building, but then, like, customizing the building just with an upgrade rather than, like, a custom design. So this is like a nice go-between. Wow, look at all those logs. People are working. Look at those Raptorians go. This is chat. Chat's out here working. They're smashing that like button. They're subbing. Doing all that work. You've been playing the hell out of Mountain Blade 2 lately? That's a good game. What's up, Muck Hunter? How you doing? Bum, bum, bum. Exclamation point schedule. All right, let's build some. Uh... By the way, to build a bridge in this game, like this river doesn't look that big, but when I try to put down a, a bridge, you'll see how expensive and how big the bridge actually is. Look at that. Look at how much money and stuff that costs. Oh, my God. We're not going to be able to go down for a while. Alright, let's build a nice... Actually, let's let's get ready for the future of, of Raptoria by building out some roads before we actually build any of the bridges. We'll build a nice road this way. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I forget. This game does... Um this game does uh, seasons pretty quickly, too. We got to, um, just like in Banished, 
food is incredibly important in this game, but uh, firewood is something that you gotta like get cracking on ASAP. But luckily, we're doing uh, we're doing research and stuff as quickly as possible. Uh, let's do. Toolsmiths and Brickworks plus 20%. Quarry, Coal Mines, Mines. Uh, let's just start with the first three basic ones and just get them knocked out. Yeah, it's already May. Uh, we'll leave this for a building. Like a production building. Uh, what's up, Emmett? Welcome to the stream, dude. Another game I want to show you guys is uh, I played this other game called uh, Immortal Mare, where you play kind of like a. It's kind of like black and white. You get to play as like a or or like a universum where you play as a god, but you kind of influence people to build your city. And one of the cool things about that game is that you see this lantern here, at this house. That game allows you to customize things in front of the houses, and it affects the other houses around them. So like if you, if you build like a. A lamp out in front of the uh, the house it provides lights to the pathway it also gives bonuses to the neighbors and stuff too which is kind of cool that like a nice building like a nice little lamp you know gives light and stuff to everybody that's so cool that that's on the corner like that that's nice the buildings have a Nordic style yeah I could see that with these roofs for sure absolutely uh -huh. Damn, listen to this rain, man. Isn't that nice? Very peaceful. Are the developers in chat? Is there is there a button to change like the variety of the house? Like I guess the other alternative is to just keep clicking on the the house button until like a house that you want pops up. Alright, actually, it's the same thing. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to build a shelter soon, too. Eventually, this game has, like, random events happen where, like, a bunch of refugees can show up at your, uh, at your, your town. And, like, if you help them out, then they'll be, like, happy workers of your town and help everybody grow. I think we'll put this house here. Do we need any more houses? I, maybe I built too many. Oh, then again. No, no. Yes, the developers are here. Oh, good. Watching closely. Oh, good. Um, yeah, use this as an example of what not to do. Put this in your FAQ and just tell everyone to do the opposite, and then they'll know how to play good. All right, nice to have the devs in chat, actually. I'm going to let me tab out. If you guys want to link to your game or anything, I'll add you as a moderator for now. That'll let you bypass. If you want to link to the store the Steam store page or if you want to answer people's questions, go ahead. Alright, the devs are in chat. Chat, so if you have any questions about the game, ask them and uh, they'll be happy to answer, I'm sure. I want there to be a button, though, to change the house variety. That's it. That's my only... It, it, it's a pretty good game, I guess. But if they added that, I'd love it. There you go. This looks really promising. Agreed. It's kind of hard to like make a city builder too, because you gotta. On one hand, you want to be different. On the other hand, you want to be like familiar. It's not easy to make a game. Like you want people to figure out what to do and how to play quickly, but you don't want it to be easy. You want it to be challenging and engaging. It's it's all sorts of different things, especially especially city builders, because you're not you're not necessarily giving you're not making a game. You're giving people a toolbox, and you got to give them all the right parts so they can figure it out and make, make their own things, you know? you got to give them the tools. You're making play sets, right? Uh, this looks like Medieval Dynasty, but from above. True. Yep. Every time I see Medieval Buildings, I just want to go buy that uh, Lego Blacksmith set and just build, 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 build. Okay, looks like the housing is taken care of, and it looks like we got a nice little start to our village.
Sorry, that part that part really slaps. Okay, um, let's try to build a gatherer's hut now. We don't want people to die. Food is very important. I like food. One's in chat if you also like food. Um, can we get vampires added? <laughs> Maybe, chat. Maybe if you behave. The devs are watching, so be good. Uh, let's see. I want the gatherer's hut to... Oh, look. I, I like how it has a sign on it. It's funny to me how, like, it has a sign. I like that. It's just... It's weird. I like it. Like, not... Most buildings don't do that. Like, in most games, they don't label things. So you don't know what it is. But I guess you can tell what a mill is, right? That's one dollar more than $999,999, YouTuber. That's true, Chad. That is a mill. All right, let's gather some more trees. I love these games, too, because it's not about... It, it is about survival, but not so much. Like, there is a little bit of, like, decorating and design. It's like Ostrief. I forgot to also say this game's like... Did I mention this game's like Ostrief, too? I don't know. So far, the game's fitting into that, like, um, fun city builder vibe with tons of different maps and things to do. Like, this is the type of game where you're, you're definitely going to want to, uh, like, fill up the map. Although, at least in the, in the demo, you get one map and it's always this map, which is okay. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. This is cool. If you build a road sign... Oh, me too, Anonymous. Thank you for the five. I love it too. I also love the fact that you can build a road sign which lets citizens move 5% faster when they're near the road sign. Like, that's actually, like, legit. Like, if you put that in the town where a lot of people are passing back and forth, that's really neat. Like, there's a lot of little things that make a little difference. It's cool. It's genius. Uh, do the houses have an option to upgrade in this game? Yeah, you can build a stone house, but I don't know if you have an option. Well, you can, oh, wait, yeah, like I was mentioning. Okay, so yes, you can upgrade the house to a stone house, but also you can upgrade the base house to have more insulation. So that's, that's something that a lot of games don't do, is that there's not like an in-between step, and that's, that's huge to me, right? Like, that's what I was mentioning earlier with the power plant. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, I need a little bit more power. So instead of going to coal power plants, I'm going to delete the old coal power plant and go nuclear. And it's like it's like this huge jump forward. But this game lets you take little baby steps. This, this kind of is how it is in uh, Frostpunk, where like at a certain point you can kind of upgrade the houses to have more insulation rather than having to like build a, a whole burner. Of food in the Discord oh. yesterday, stuffed cheese bacon wrapped brats. Oh my God, you made brats yesterday. Thank you, uh, Wild Iron Chef. Oh. You're a chef. We should talk. But yes, this is cool. Like, this gets me excited. The fact that there's, like, these little baby steps before you go for the full upgrade is awesome. That way, if you're having some trouble keeping people warm or making firewood, you can just spend the logs first, and then you don't have to worry about, like, going for stone right away. It's... Yeah. It stops you from, like, rushing the game and, like, going right for the big upgrades. That's what a lot of people do, is like they go for the full upgraded building, and you don't, you don't really have to do that. Oh, this thing is huge. Need, need a way to resize. Alright, let's go for uh, wood now. Now that we got our gatherer set up, we're making some general food. Let's go for a logger. What's that thing called again? Oh, we can only do the depot now. Oh, not enough coins. Oh yeah, people will uh, pay you coins with houses. Well, I guess we'll have to play the waiting game a little bit. In the meantime, we'll build some more roads. Also, I think I want to build a forester maybe over here then. It's amazing, though, how all these years later, Banished is kind of like this uh, remembered but forgotten abandoned game, and everybody always uses it as like a, a determination. 
Uh, hey Raptor, what? What do? You, what am I playing at? My FPS seems higher than yours. Um, sixty. I got two Titan XPs in here, so it's smooth though. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> also, a photo mode would be good. Is there a photo mode in this? Photo mode would be nice. Okay, we're out of money. Chat, can I borrow money? I need uh, a lot of gold. Maybe we should go to Golden Corral. Uh, where will the gatherers live? They have to walk their way back into town. Yeah, it's not that far, though. I guess, I guess your commute back then was, like, into the forest, I guess. It's not that far. Uh, let's see. Oh, now we now we can build our hunting lodge in Forester's Hut. Um, what should we build first, though? Forester's Hut, yeah. We should build that first. You can build another... You can build them another depot closer. That's true, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. You can build a depot for everybody to deliver their goods to. Alright, let's build our Forester... Like here? Question mark? Wait. Oh, there we go. Now again, I don't know why all these medieval games keep trying to... I don't know if they like get a sponsorship from Subaru. But every single one of these damn games, there's always a Forester in it. Like, Why do they keep trying to promote Subaru in these games? I'm just, I'm just trying to play a medieval game. I don't know why you keep trying to get me to buy a Forester. Every time. Kingdoms and castles. Patron. Foundation. Al always always trying to get you to buy a Subaru. Like, Subaru's got some real good, like, advertising campaign if they're trying to stick that in. Our Forester is a 4x4 deluxe equipment. Oh, nice. Yeah, and the ability, I guess, to upgrade the capacity. You can't really do that in a Subaru Forester. You can't really just, like, pay for an upgrade to, like, get an extra passenger. Animal Boy, thanks to the $1.99. You're going to be posting more food pictures and recipes on the Discord this week? Amen, brother. Is this what's nice about these games? Is This is the type of game that's meant to be slow. Like this and Ostrieve and even Foundation. Like the, the slower you play, the more enjoyable it is. Because then you get to see your city. If you're just playing at high speed to build the biggest city, it's just like... It's fun once to do that, I think, but... Pog, Harry's here. Okay, so we built a couple of too many homes, I think, which is not a bad thing. Actually, I think we built one too many. Okay, so we got an extra house. That's fine. That's that's totally good. What do these people have for food? Strawberries, pork, wheat, and beans. Nice. I, what is the gatherer gather? Mushrooms and roots. Okay. Oh, large basket upgrade. Production plus 25%. Damn. We'll get that upgrade later. I'm, I'm basically broke. But we will make money eventually from everybody paying rent. Oh, yeah. We need to make a uh, sawmill, too, so we can generate firewood. I think we'll do that in town. We need a Rick emote? Well, maybe. You've been around a little longer, Harry, so you get priority. But soon there'll be a Rick emote, I'm sure. Yeah, let's build a road here and go for a... Maybe a depot and like a, 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 what do you call it, Fi firewood maker there, Sa sawmill. Okay, so now we're building the sawmill, or the forester building. Man, birds fly around everywhere. Bum, bum. Nice detail, smoke coming out of the chimney. 
happens on some of the houses. And it's different colored smoke, too. Ooh. Which means they might be burning different variety of woods. Nice. Wow. It's in the deets. Okay, let me, uh... I want to, like, open this up a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now I think we should do some more research, but we don't we don't have any money. Is this a time demo? I don't actually I don't even know what what constricts the demo. I think you can do whatever you want. You can only just do it on one map. Some people will later burn coal when you have it. Ooh. That's cool. So you can supply your town with firewood or coal or both. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, it is time. Two hours for now. Oh, it is a time demo? Oh, damn. Well, we better speed things up then. However, if the demo does end, then we can just go ahead and restart and do it again. And even faster. Alright, well, now we got the basics down, so I guess we'll speed things up. Okay, Forrester is good. Yeah, people seem to like the music. Well, that's important. You know, when you've played this game and you're on hour 622 of playing this game, you, music is kind of a, a good thing. Let's put our hunting lodge next to the other thing. Oh, boy. That's, a, that's some big O rain. Oh wow, look. The forester actually carries out a potted plant. Trees don't sprout up out of the ground randomly. A worker actually goes and puts it into the ground. Damn, that's good. What's up, Red? Good to see you. Wow, that's impressive. I didn't notice that before. Happiness is at 90. Health is at 92. Safety is at 88. Okay, we should make a depot now. Uh, yeah, chat chat does pay taxes in here. Every, everybody does owe at least one like. That is, that is a rule. But everybody here always 100% of the time pays their their rap tax. They They do always smash that like button, that's for sure. Are resources stored in the central building? Um, not sure. We do have decrees we can do, though. I always forget about the decrees, which is incredible. It's, it's like another level of research, kind of. Except you pay for it as like an edict. Or what do they call that in City Skylines? A policy? Are there windmills for booster? Yep, the game's got windmills. Confirmed. All right, so now we should be able to bring in some venison and some berries, and we're planting trees. We need to start making a sawmill. We need 75 coin for that, though. So we got to make some more money. Put some signs in the forest. That's a good idea. All right, so we got to wait for some more cash to come in. We got to have a sawmill, so we need 75 bucks. Uh, only families, uh, adults, and houses generate money. Okay. 
The king sends his regard. The king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He's cle clearly pleased with us. The king has a crown emote that you can find in the chat. Spam it now. Most excellent. Please notify the king we accept the gift of 40 firewood. Thank you, king. Another thing we can do, too, is we can actually, um... Like, we can exponentially make a ton of firewood with a ton of upgrades for it. Oh, there's our sawmill. I don't know why they call it a sawmill. Okay, I can see it right now. Why don't they call it a sea mill? It's not that I saw it. I see it. Maybe they should call it a seesaw mill? Or maybe a green mill and sell good pizza? Alright, that's two things this game is missing now. is a pizza hut and a green mill. Those need to be added. Pizza's important, even back in medieval times. <laughs> ah, there we go. A rain again? My goodness. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain if I were a farmer. That's pretty consistent rain. Pizza and green mill noted, smiley face. Yeah, very important. Bum, 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 bum. Another thing that's really subtle that you might not notice is, listen, here we're in the forest, and all you just hear is, like, the wind and birds, but when you go to the city... The closer you get to the town center, the more voices you hear. You hear people, like, chopping things and, like, doing actual work. It's pretty impressive. Alright, so this is a good thing. If you need more and more firewood, this is where you spend all your money. A good idea to spend all your materials on the sawmill for the first year so you can make a ton of firewood. So you can do some expansion and uh, mechanization, which increases production and the amount of people you can hire there. That's pretty cool. That's really big. I can't believe more games don't do that where they have, like... You know, Tropico does that pretty well, where, like, you can... Add electricity to a building or add a second, um, I don't know, add a second station for something, so. Yeah, winter's coming. We might we might be short on firewood, that's for sure. You know, usually, one thing I've noticed about the way I play games is that the first time I play a game, I do pretty good. Like, not great, but, like, at least I get the basics. My second playthrough usually goes pretty bad, and then my third one is even better. It's like I'm subconsciously I'm testing like two different play styles and then in my third one it's where I mix optimization and uh, efficiency and also like aesthetics worker slots plus one cool now we can have two people making firewood this game looks cool I agree I think it looks great, sounds great, fills in a lot of the... It hits the same checkboxes that Banished hit, and it also does some new things that are a little different. But yet it feels familiar, which you do want in a city builder. Like, you want to feel like you jump in and know exactly what you're doing. Oh, we need carriers, too. Oh, right, for the depot. Yeah, once you build the depot, I think the depot hires. Then you can, I think you can get carriers from the depot. Or I mean, that's that's where they go. Imagine this game, but with ants. I hear they're remaking Sim Ant, but I don't know about that. Rain again. Man, if I get 200 coins, we can put even more money into into our firewood business. 
Are these mushrooms here? I think those are those little white things are mushrooms. All right, how are we doing on food? 55, not bad. Seems to be going down. Oh no, monthly produced is 116, monthly used is 99. Okay, that should be going up. Good. And it looks like firewood's going up as well. Monthly produced 99, monthly used 20. Okay, we're going good. It's always a little... It's always a little, uh, oof the first year because, like... Oh, here comes the, uh, here comes the snow. Two degrees Celsius out. Ooh, boy. Oh, we'll save our money and try to get the mechanization. Oh, boy. All right, Pinto Bless and chat. Let's hope we survive our first year. A cemetery is coming, of course. Oh, yeah, the dev... Yeah, they sent me a private message. They said one, once they saw me playing the game, they knew they had to add a cemetery. Uh, oh, you're playing? Oh, we'll add a cemetery right away. Gotta have a place to put all those bodies. Okay. All right, hopefully we make it through the winter. Not much more to do at this point other than wait. Oh, blackberries and strawberries also. And the hunter is gathering... Wow, 246 venison a year plus 98 leather. A sunken ship! A ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. We should send a search party and see what they can find. Organize a search party and find adults and children or tobacco and iron. We're not gonna. The demo won't last long enough to see the use of that, so let's go with the uh, survivors. Good, and survivors means taxes, yay. I don't know about you guys, but I like building house houses more than uh, shelters, although both. A mix of both is probably a good idea. Yeah, we'll build two new houses. What about ice fishing? I think that's actually an option. One of the things you can research is ice fishing. Although, speaking of research, that's why I stopped, because I, I need the money for the upgrade for the sawmill. I want to make sure we've got more than enough firewood. We're using a little bit more than we're producing. It's not too bad. What's up, Herman? Things are going good. Oh yeah, I forgot the hunter's hut actually uses wood and iron to make uh, bows and arrows and stuff. Makes sense. Apparently the Sim app remake is a project on Indiegogo. I think the Sim catalog is EA property, but I, I don't know. I think we'll be good. No food in the warehouse. Uh oh, not so much for that. Oh yeah, we got all those new people. That was kind of a surprise. Well, we better go fishing. Wait, how much are these? Six, wait. Oh, 40 coins to build, 60 coins uh, for upkeep. There we go. All right. Oh, we could do large baskets as well for the gatherer's hut. I mean, these these upgrades are so critically important to the game. Like they, it's it's literally a game changer because you can you can do so much. You can do so much more with that. You know. Ah, uh, yes, Emmett, we have already. It should be on the channel. There should be some videos on the channel. 
Have I ever gone deep sea fishing? No, but I've gone like diving and snorkeling before. That's pretty cool to see all that, uh, all the fish. Can you build Viking Raider ships in this game? I don't know if shipbuilding is in the game. I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, let's do... Wow, large baskets again increasing efficiency. Damn. That's like a must-have. I'm just going to do that because that's the only thing. Yep, this is the whole new game. If you want to uh, if you want to look on Steam for this one, P A T R O N. It's like two people's names put together. I like to call it Patron because that makes me think I'm about to party. But, you know. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it Patron, you can call it Ron Pat, you can call it uh uh Patrick uh, Neil Patrick Harris, if you want. That's what I like to call the game, Neil Patrick Harris, but I guess that's a little too long for a, a game. Alright, it's negative two Celsius. Firewood is... Ooh, yeah. Ooh, they're burning through that firewood. February and January are brutal. Like, those are the months that the most firewood seems to be used. I've been playing a lot of building games recently. Yep. Well, there's a lot... I don't know, man. There's always something about these top-down city builders. I really like the medieval ones, and I'm really liking the ones where it's like you don't build a city necessarily. You you work on supplying the city with stuff. Because, like I mentioned, like we city builders where you just kind of like use money are fun. But when it comes down to like resources like electricity or food or infrastructure, like, you know, transport fever or this game or whatever it's so much more interesting when you have to get, gather materials store them and use them to build the city or generate like uh, something else that they need to to survive in this case food is good food is needed to survive wow damn large baskets three let's give something to the hunter what has he got trapper training would be 25 percent more production in the winter when winter's almost over expansion one would give us another worker slot here though so let's do that and how many workers do we have? I always feel like in these games I should keep one extra worker just in case. The king sends his regards. Uh, Sire the king, oh that's me, has sent over a ship full of goods to our fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. Plus 42 coal. Oh that's nice. Thank you king. It'd be cool if you had to build something to get those bonuses. Or like if you started with a dock like in Tropico and you could actually see boats coming in. That'd be neat. No one is fishing? Uh, the, yeah, the, I don't think they can fish in the winter. Which is exactly why I built them in the winter. Because I'm smart. But these are the types of games where you have to plan a few moves ahead, you know? I'm kind of thinking about next year, you know? Management is the most fun part of these games. Yeah, I mean, like, when you're, when you're up here and you're monitoring all your stuff, it's it's really neat. Ostrieve feels a lot like the same, too, where you're... Well, Ostrieve is, like, more anno than anything I've ever seen because of all the different materials you have to store and things like that. There's nothing wrong with the simplification of just having a general depot, but that game is like you need a granary, you need a warehouse, oh, and then you need to build it near the industry. That game's crazy. Any natural disasters in the game? Yep, it seems like there are, but I don't know what. Uh, I'm assuming fires are probably a problem. But maybe they'll be like uh, hurricanes or something. Is this technically a reaction video? I mean, yeah, I, I guess. Like when chat gets to 500 likes, I'll react to that. When the next five people to click or tap that join button help us to get to our membership goal, I'll react to that. When chat says hi in chat, I'll react to that. 
Uh, in the full version, fishermen will fish from boats much and much more. Oh yeah, so the little little boats will go out to sea. Yeah, you can you can see the fish right here. So the the boat will probably come over and there'll be an animation for that. That's that's cool. That's good. That's what I want. All right. Well, winter's almost over, so let's not invest in that. And we need more people in our fair city. I always want to have some extra houses, so we got those. Uh, now we're starting to make some cash. Can we do more upgrades? Decorative hedge, mine, construction goods. Mm. Ah, good. Spring has sprung, chat. Pinto bless, we made it. Good job, everybody. Okay, we'll pull back on the firewood making for a little while. And we'll try to get another job going. Let's try to go for... Oh, there's our docks. Enables trading with the mainland, but you need iron for that. So I guess it's in the game. They just... Uh, I want you to do it later. We'll build our mine over here. Wait, which way? Like that. Oh, that, that mine looks cool. That building looks awesome. I like that. I like how it's not it's not a particular style like they don't look English or French or some a little, little bit French a little Scandinavian a little Brit like it's a little bit of everything here some some even look Japanese kind of What if you could play multiplayer in this game? Yeah, so many people just want multiplayer by default, but some games I don't think it would add much to it. Like, some games, I, I don't know how I would feel about multiplayer. Like, it certainly works in games like Park Attack and Anno for, co you know, competitive purposes or com cooperation. But here it's you against nature. But I, I guess it would be cool to see, you know, a friend's city as they try to make their city, too. I don't know. Do people age and die? Uh, I think so. Let's see. There should be a way to look at our people. Probably because you can have children in the game and so thus they must grow up at least to be able to work at some point. Statues, nice. Wait, why is there an exclamation point? Resource required in production are not arriving to the building. Required resources are missing. Oh, he's missing iron to do hunting. Uh oh. That means we need to research a mine. Okay, so we have no more iron for the hunters to make bows, so let's shut that down for now. Or traps. Oh, there you go. You can hover over the residents there. Uh, so, like, for example, what is it? The Theophilius? What the hell? What kind of name is that? Here. Habel is a 24-year-old female who's a peasant and a fisherman. Okay. Yeah, no, I... I compl this, this is where this... Like, this is the game right here. This is where the game excels. The upgrade section with the multiple upgrades... That's hard to balance, right? Like, for a developer, that, for me, it'd be a, a nightmare to, like, try to do that math and... Like, you want to make the game challenging. And you want 
like the threat of death or plague or uh, famine. Uh, what? Not famine, but um, uh, what is it? The uh... chat. What's that called when like bugs? What, what do they call that? Like when bugs take over crops and stuff? Not plague. What the hell? Oh, anyway, you know what I mean, though. You know, like if a, if an entire crop gets wiped out, then everyone, you know, even if you're doing a great job with your city, there's still a chance for a uh, that thing that escapes my mind. build an iron mine now. I think before my first playthrough I got lucky because the king kept, uh, kept sending me iron, which was nice. Pestilence, um... I can't, I can't remember. There's a dip. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. Yeah, we need a lot more food. I guess we'll go with large baskets three. Ah, gold means you maxed it out. Fully upgraded. Nice. I like how I like how this says prediction and not production because it's not it's not making anything just yet because the trees are still growing. Too low on food and your settlers won't have children and will die. Ah. Interesting. Oh, well, luck luckily it looks like our people have a little bit of food in storage. Some fish, uh firewood, strawberries. At least there's something there. All right, now we're making iron. That means we can hire somebody back at the hunter's lodge. And I'm superstitious, so I'm going to keep a person in there. They stole extra food. Oh, they must have got it from the uh, Pizza Hut. See? That's why I told you guys. They got to add a Pizza Hut to the game. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't see anything military in the game yet, so I'm not sure about that. But there's certainly a hell of a lot of buildings to build. All sorts of different, like, guilds and stuff. It's neat. Yeah, we'll put a road sign near the mines. I think we could build a depot over here, too. We should probably build, like, a depot up here. Yeah, the Lollipop Guild. We can actually upgrade these fishing huts. Production plus 30. Wow, damn. 409 per year. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's crop fields, orchards, and ranches. Wow, you actually have to pay to make the field, too. And it costs lumber to build the fence. You gotta pay somebody to do the labor, and you gotta pay for the materials. Are there meteor strikes in the game? I don't know if they... I, I think they're constantly working. I don't, I don't think they go on strike. I have. I don't think they've unionized. Wow. Well, well, the mines are working. That's nice.
And we're making food here, yes? Yes, we are. Good. Good. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, there might be something to do with, like, piracy, maybe. Like, maybe some of the pop-ups could say, like, uh, you know, pirates have showed up and they demand something or people want to trade or whatever. This game looks awesome, yeah. Uh, my favorite thing is that it's, it, like, so far it's really slow. Like, that's good. Because you want every year to be, like, this arduous battle against nature and the elements and random events and sickness and, you know, may may maybe... Maybe not necessarily a bad thing, but maybe like a shipwreck will happen and there'll be a lot of people in that shipwreck. You want to do the right thing and help people and have those people join your city. And, you know, like give them give them jobs and give them hope. Give them a place to stay. But it could also mean that, oh, you're not going to have enough food. Oops. Wow, chat made it to 500 likes. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Max? Welcome to the stream, my man. How awesome was Banished? Oh, great! Oh, if you if you've uh, I remember I think you and I talked a bit about Banished. If you liked Banished a lot, this is this is basically an unofficial, unrelated sequel that has a lot of really really shares a lot of stuff with that. It gives you good feels. This will be a good one to keep an eye on and to uh, eventually get. But you, again, as a reminder, reminder alert. This demo is free right now on Steam until the 22nd, so you can you can start downloading this right now. A spiritual successor? Yeah, I'd say so. It's got a lot of that same stuff in there, you know? It's got all the good stuff in it, you know? It's a different flavored pie, but, you know, it's still got some fruit and sugar and got a beautiful crust to it. It's nice and crispy. I like it. Yeah, that's another, that's another developer in the chat of yet another game. It's nice. We got a lot of we got a lot of friends of the channel who are making their own games, but yet they're also gamers too. Did you guys know that You guys probably don't know this, but before Patron the game and before uh Foulball Hangover slash Max started making games, they were also gamers themselves. Did you guys know that fun fact? I bet you they played a game before they made a game. Imagine that. Max, how are things going with Radio Silent, and how is things going with the uh, Hydranir multiplayer update? I am so damn excited for that. King's Ransom. My lord, the King's advisors have sent a list of requests. No official reason has been noted. Only a list. Uh, they must be bleeding us dry when we can't go against the King. Minus 19 mushrooms? He must be making one big-ass pizza. All right, we'll give you mushrooms, King. The demo is about a gigabyte. Wow. Oh, and and by the way, bit, I'm huge in these games when the uh, when the seasons change and you can see like the grass change color and the the trees change color. That's such a big effect. Like that's a really good effect. All right, let's ramp up firewood production and let's minimize. What could we cut down on? Maybe hunting. And I don't think we need any more stone production for a minute. Let's double down on the hunting. Oh, wait, I upgraded that to have another hunter. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Hydro Dream multiplayer is going great. The entire game feels a lot more polished. Working on new areas of the world soon. Good. Good. And again, as always, Max, you have full permission to use my likeness in both of your games as man as part of our mandatory agreement of our friendship. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. You should check out Manor Lords. I should. That's why I made several videos of it on the channel. Make sure you check that out. Manor Lords looks like it's going to be a really good game. If you like this game, Manor Lord seems like it's going to be like this game or like Ostrieve plus Total War. So it all goes together really nicely. So if you're a fan of uh, Patron, you're going to be a fan of Manor Lords too. Even that developer, like the developer of uh, 
if you if you look very closely in the trailers for Manor Lords, you can see that he uses like pixelated Apollo's logo on some of the the troops, and he names all of his cities like Raptoria and stuff. He watches all the city builder and like Total War YouTubers, and then he puts them all in their trailer. I didn't even notice that until he pointed it out to me. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Rumen, thank you very much for becoming a little raptor. Yeah, if you guys haven't smashed that join button, now might be a good time to click or tap join. Because I got some uh, game keys to give away next week for all of you. E3 was pretty big this year for getting access and announcements to a lot of new stuff. A lot of indie devs coming out of the woodwork. A lot of people said E3 wasn't that great. And I agree, like it was kind of disappointing from all the AAA guys. But indie devs are like, they're growing like weeds, man. It's awesome. Yeah, you get paved roads. That is true. I like how the dirt roads look, too. They're not square. It's not like a perfect path. There's like a little overgrow every once in a while. It's like it's not even. It's nice. Oh, boy. That snow, though. Alright, now what we should do... Okay, firewood seems fine, food seems pretty good. Producing... Oh, we're not producing enough, though. I need more money. We need money. How's uh, firewood going? Oh yeah, firewood's going real well. Can you cut the trees down? Yep, you can tell your people to like, uh, like clear cut a whole area if you want to. The best thing to do though is have the forester going. Like that's one of the first thing you, you should build because eventually they'll go, they'll grow trees for you, and then they'll uh, cut them down later. Takes time though to grow trees. Hmm. Things seem to be going well. Yeah, we don't need the stone quarry going anymore. It'd be kind of cool if the iron mine also produced stone on as like a side effect, or like a byproduct of mining the iron. That'd be kind of cool. Or if there was an upgrade to do that, like. Some sort of way to store that. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize some of these buildings have upkeep of lumber. That's kind of cool. That's like maintenance for the boats and for the building. That's cute. Like, obviously, the sawmill is going to require a lot of lumber. That makes sense. Look at this. We've got all this city here and we only have we only have like 14 people living here. That's pretty amazing. All the stuff we were able to build with just that that population. And there's all these decrees to do too. What does Garrison do? Guardhouse efficiency plus 30%. Safety plus 2. Oh, wow. You don't see any wild animals? Oh, just watch chat. There's a lot of them in there. You'll see the elusive uh, dino nugget. And a lot of hunters in chat, too. There, you watch chat very closely, you'll notice there's a lot of hunters roaming around looking for them animals. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He clearly is pleased with us. Cole plus 33. Yay. Bum, bum. Wait a minute. Oh, those are... Those are the children. I 
wonder if there's a school in the game. There must be. Let's see. Actually, I think I think it's a decree. Or am I thinking of another game? Hmm. The hell I know I've seen a school. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. All right, this is the school right here. I'll jump over here so you guys can see some of the descriptions of the buildings. Well, well, market. I mean, well. Well, there you go. Sells the goods to citizens around the market. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we need to research it, though. I need more money. Merchant's Guild House, Laborer's Guild House, Cathedral, Church. Uh, you have the iron mine, where's the coal mine? Uh, we don't have a coal mine at the moment, because I think that's used to make tools at the blacksmith, and I don't have enough people to run that stuff yet. I need to get my population up. First and foremost, you need food and uh, and wood for uh, firewood. So first thing to do is like start gathering food, hunting, and fishing, and uh, start making firewood so you can grow your population. The whole game, you, the the goal of the game is to. I think they should change the Steam description to just say "Try not to die to death." <laughs> like the the goal of the game is to not die to death. That's what you don't want to do. Any, any way you can fight against nature, that's your biggest enemy. Alright, let's go to research and try to buy some new stuff. Decorative hat. Oh, toolsmith. Carpenter's hut would be the next thing. Probably do the toolsmith then. Eventually we'll run out of tools and that'll be the next thing we need. Oh yeah, school budget cuts is one of the decrees. Yeah, nature and the elements. Be cool if there could be like a bear attack and you had to send people to the village out to fight it. Unfortunately, you can't control people like you would in Dawn of Man, but... Honestly, for me, combat is one less thing to worry about and that's good. Like, now we can focus on actually building the city. Alright, what did we just finish? The research on the toolsmith, right? Yep, he takes coal, so we gotta build a coal mine now. I like how we can put all of our mines in the same area. It kinda looks cool. It just looks like one big mine. Yeah, the event system is cool. That makes every playthrough a little different. Both positive and negative can happen. Peter Kirk, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling, dude. Welcome aboard. Stepping up into that realm of greatness. Welcome aboard, and thanks for being with us. Let's get some ramen packets in chat. Chat's got to be hungry by now. Oh, there goes a bear. My arch nemesis. Oh, there's a little fox, too. There's a little fox. And there's a bear out there, too. I wonder if that bear is working on making an inn. So these must be things to spawn animals for the hunters, like a little den or a cave. Interesting. Such a good year so far for city builders. At least there's a lot of new little things coming out. Yeah, bear, 
Baron Breakfast is a is a fun little like uh, it's kind of like Stardew Valley, but you're building an inn and have to have guests and stuff come. Kind of cool. That hurdy gurdy slaps. That hurdy gurdy though. All right, so we're building a coal mine. We're building a depot. You absolutely love city builders. They're quite fun. Yeah, it's really nice to make things organized. You know. Man, food is still a problem. Eh, I guess that's always going to be a problem until we've got uh, farming going on. can I do about food? Well, we will need an herbalist hut at some point. Health is at 98, so maybe not yet. Oh yeah, we should build the toolsmith, though. Let's build him in town. Yep, live. Year 3, we're still alive. We haven't died yet. Not yet, anyway. There's still time. Ooh, a clay pit. Nice. Uh, town center must be upgraded to a gathering hall. Okay. Are we not allowed to do that? Is there a way to turn controls? Uh, I think it's in, uh, I think it's still in Celsius. That's fine. In your mind, just remember that like 20, 20 or 21 degrees Celsius is like 72 Fahrenheit. So like 30, it's 30 is pretty warm. 10 is pretty chilly and zero is freezing for Celsius. Oh, is the gathering hall in research? Um, maybe. Oh, field crops. Allows the planting of tobacco, cabbage. Oh, here it is. Yep. Coins 500. That's it. So first we have to research the gathering hall. Then we have to upgrade the city hall itself. Probably. I would always just be on the caution for that. And always have more. Okay, we got two people sitting around. Oh yeah, we need coal now. All right, so we got somebody at the iron mine, somebody at the coal mine. No miner in building. Okay, they're on the way. And we got our depot sitting there. That's cool. So now we should be able to start making tools. Let's do that. So the tool problem is now solved. How are we doing on houses? Good. We don't need any more houses. Uh, there are two wells. Yeah. One's made of wood and one's made of stone. So I guess whatever you have a little extra of, you can use for your building. Well, let's build our docks. Ba 
it's going to be hard to fit it in here. Oh, wow, we can build it here. Well, that'd be cool. Right at the end of the, the river there. Kind of crowded TBH, but uh, let's just do it. And can we prioritize buildings? No. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we'll increase our efficiency for food. So the upgrade goes from 409 to 504, so that's a pretty good upgrade. Bum, bum. I don't see a worker going to this building. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here comes the rain again. Oh, uh, what's my favorite meat in a sandwich? Probably just a you know, just a regular subscriber. You can get one for free by clicking and tapping that subscribe button. It's a free sub for everybody. A sunken ship again. Let's see, we can get three adults, five children, or wool, peach, blackberry. Mm. Let's go for people again. We got these houses. More people will generate more tax dollars, and more tax dollars means we can buy more upgrades. So much for saving this for a building. Okay, you should be able to start working now that coal's being produced. Yep, this is the demo of the game. Alright, so now we can have a... Oh, cool, we can have a harbor. Oh, wow, we can upgrade to a harbor or build a customs house onto it. Damn. I'll we'll have to get somebody working here soon. Oh, actually, we can afford it now. Man, food, food is a pain. You love the music of the game? Yep, that's a pretty important thing that you wouldn't think is very important. Okay, hopefully that brings in a lot more fish for us. Ooh, we can trade now. Nice. Uh, let's see. Well, we have a ton of leather. Let's go ahead and sell that. Oh, I can type it in. I'll sell like 150. Yay, now we got 295 gold. Beautiful. 
All right, now we're going to swing by and pick up some... Oh, it takes a while. Oh, cool. It's not instant. A boat actually has to come out. Nice. Well, that's all right. Now, in the meantime, we can upgrade our nets even higher to be full efficiency. Also, it'd be nice if it changed... You know what would be cool is if every upgrade had changed the appearance of the building. I I'd like to see it do that. That'd be cool. Somehow. We need more houses. Well, we need a little bit more coin. Wait for the trade ship. Well, that's funny. We, we instantly get the money. They somehow paid us in instantly. Now they're coming to pick up the uh, delivery, I guess. Banished, but in the Caribbean. Yes, but also no, because there's different mini-maps. Looks like there's some that are on, like, volcanoes. Some that are in a winter. Like a winter biome. Seems like you get a little bit of everything with this bad boy. Uh, is everybody here a fan of city builders? You guys all like cities? What what city is everybody watching from right now? I'm, I'm curious to know where everybody's watching from. They pay in, the, in advance at the docks. Nice merchants. Yeah, they certainly are trustworthy. The king has sent over some more goods. 20 iron. Good. Good. You're all massive fans? Oh, good. Where, where's everybody watching from? Atlanta, Denmark, Salvador, St. Louis, Carrollton, Illinois, Montreal, Prescott, Arizona, Tunisia, Montgomery, Las Cruces, London, Zagreb, Denmark, Netherlands, Dortmund, New York, South Africa, a village in Scotland, Tan is literally at the Roman Colosseum, wow, the Philippines, Serbia, Toronto, so you guys could make your own medieval version of uh, Serbia if you wanted to, but in the Mediterranean, like literally, just boom, right there, smack dab in the center of some, Car like, Mediterranean or Caribbean island, Tulsa, Serbia, Brunswick, Man, there's a lot of a lot of people here from all over the world. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being a part of my community. It's nice to have you all as subscribers. Everybody chatting's a sub, so thanks again, guys, for subbing. Bum, 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 bum. Well, that's awfully nice of you all. All right, so maximum production of the Fisherman's Hut seems to be 330, 630 fish a year times two. Oh, let's build another house. Maybe we should just build two. Yeah, let's, let's just build another house. Stockholm, Sweden? Awesome. Uh, what is this game called? Exclamation point game. I seem to enjoy this game. This game is my natural habitat. A lot of people think it's Isle Nublar in the raptor enclosure, but it's actually City Builders. I think one game when I was younger when I absolutely went crazy with was SimCity 2000 and the Urban Renewal Kit. Just building cities and taking a look at them and making them look picturesque then as I got older I was able to understand like you know budgets and financing and money and then on top of that games like Tropico where then like you know wheat had to be gathered or uh, it, plants had to be grown and could be sold for a profit that type of thing I'm an amazing streamer you love watching me thanks for being so kind and interactive with your community eh, sometimes I can be a grump chat knows but I'm a human just like you guys most days are good. Some days are, eh. Most days are good, though. Our foreman is reporting that there's a severe lack of pizza roll emotes in the chat, and there was a rat infestation in one of the warehouses. We've lost some goods, unfortunately. Uh, such things happen. Tell them to make sure it doesn't happen again. Stone minus 51. Are we throwing the stones at them, or are we, are we improving the warehouse? What are those stones being used for? 
How we like bricking up their house so they can't leave anymore. All right, looks like we can do some more sales here. Wow, look at all the firewood we got. 806? Holy crap. Let's sell... Uh, let's sell 300 of that. Oh, you can only sell 200 at a time. Wait, no, no. Negative 200. There we go. That's an important... That's an important number to know. There we go. <laughs> All right, um, I'll just take the cash for now. Oops, that would have been bad. So I assume you can upgrade the trade port to probably be able to trade more things at a time or do it more frequently. Raptor Grumpy, you've never seen that? No, I get there sometimes. Sometimes chat annoys me. Sometimes I, you pr I probably annoy you guys too. I mean, it's, you know, it's just the way it goes. It was cool. Come back another day and have a different attitude. You know, it's just how it is. Is this game as punishing as Banished? Um, it feels pretty forgiving so far for a demo, which is good, because at least it allows me to see the game without dying to death. So that's good. But I, I, I could definitely see this being just like as bad as uh, Banished can be at punishing your soul. All right, we need some more wood. Play on a 1404. Really cool. We did. It's on the channel. Should be a playthrough of the campaign on there. It's a good game. All right, I'll have our loggers go cut out little, little sections of the woods here and there. Try to be selective a little bit. Yeah, you can build guard houses and uh, increase your security and build a garrison and stuff like that. Now, uh, this is the demo version of the game. Which is uh, out now on Steam. You can, you can try the demo, but the game is not yet complete. Pretty damn solid, though, for a, a demo of a game that's in its alpha build. I mean, that's pretty promising. If this were finished, I'd be like, ooh, you know. Like, if everything were just finished here already, I'd be like, alright, this is definitely promising. You know how it is nowadays where a game is released and then, you know, the community gives the developer feedback, the developer makes improvements, the community says, okay, these things are working now, but these things are broken or it could be different. It's really cool. Like, nowadays, we as gamers have the most amount of opportunity to change a game than we ever had. Like, you can go into a Discord, give a developer direct feedback, and things could be changed based on community feedback. Or, like, the, ne the next DLC of a game could be changed or determined by the people who buy the game. Like, that's pretty damn amazing. Yeah, let's go for food production in the winter. Is that a whale? Ah, uh, no, we haven't had any big super chats yet. I mean, uh, no, uh, th there's this fish. There's this fish here. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, it's uh, six degrees Celsius. I wonder if the, um, since we're in the Mediterranean, I wonder if that means we have more mild winters? I'm not sure. Bum, 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 bum. That was a dolphin smiley face. Is it really dolphins? Oh, it's a whale, look. Wow, there it is, guys, majestic. There she blows. Sounds like a new rap song title. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and try to increase food production then for our remaining time. Ooh, expert bush. Oh, there we go. 
Let's get our man some butcher training. Take some online classes and get him skilled. Let's see, what else do we have a lot of? I guess that's another thing you could do too, is like sell some of the things you find in shipwrecks. sell some lumber. We'll sell 100 lumber, 25 stone, and let's sell like 25 iron. And then like 50 firewood. I want to keep getting upgrades for our people, so I'm buying stuff to like get take advantage of all of our upgrades. New member, welcome. Jeff Peterson, thanks for becoming a Raptor Rag dude. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Enjoy your pizza rolls, by the way. Uh, the music, I hope they release an OST. Probably licensed music, but it's it's good. I agree. Oh, that dock made all the difference. I'm glad we made that. We're going to call that uh, Doc Brown. So we can uh, get enough to produce the 1.21 gigawatts we need to go back to the future? Question mark? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's music specifically made for it? Oh, damn. Wow. The music's original. I would have never guessed. I think there needs to be more hip-hop elements in here, though. More lo-fi trance. And maybe some heavy metal, but, you know. I guess the medieval theme works, I guess. I mean, I'm no game maker, but dot, dot, dot. We're out of food again. Chad quit eating all the pizza rolls, damn it. Chat's eating all the, all the food. Some dubstep, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be that totally be appropriate. Well, I guess the only other thing we can do is try to build a bridge and then do more gathering huts over here. Hip hop, medieval style. Yeah, there are those. Um, you know what's actually interesting? There's a few YouTube channels out there that take like um, modern day songs and like put them into like a medieval beat or something. Well, we could do another... Ooh, look at... That. Oh, wow, you can have more than 100% efficiency. Damn. Well, let's do another hunting lodge, then. I don't know about you, chat, but I certainly do love barbecue. One's in chat if you'd like free barbecue right now. Me too. Oh, whoa. Been watching for a couple years now. Figured I'd donate. One of my first live streams with you. Keep up the content. Smile. Smile. Are there any smiley faces in chat? Thank you very much, dude, for the support. It's very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. I couldn't read the name, but your first name starts with a... I won't say, but C. Your first name starts with a C. Thank you very much for your support. Uh-oh, firewood. Forgot to turn on our second man. Oh, we better go into emergency production. Lack of firewood alert. OCD alert. That will be fine. It's March. The winter's almost over. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. So what we can do is just like have one person here all year and then right before winter we can ramp up production, hire a few more people and then anything we didn't make pick up the pick up the slack. Well, I have a feeling that pretty soon, probably in the next 15 minutes 
Oh, 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 okay. We'll, uh, we'll see... We'll see the end here. Right, we're only producing 15? Oof. Get to work, boys. All right, let's sell. Now well, let's sell all of our leather for now. Uh, what are we at? Ninety-six, so one hundred four. There we go. Well, let's speed up time a bit more. Yeah, you can buy you can buy and sell from the docks. Doesn't I didn't buy though because I assume it takes time to deliver. Like it, if I sell stuff, I get money from it immediately. But if I buy stuff, does it does it have to be shipped here? Because to me, in this mind, this just seems like a cooldown between purchase and and buying, or buying and selling. But is there is it immediate? What's up, Logan Strong? How you doing, dude? Yeah, you need time to get your stuff, damn. Okay. Well, that's alright. The biggest thing I want to fix now is our food problem. Let's go ahead and make sure we increase that production right away. And we need more iron so we can make more weapons. Well, that's a coal mine. I guess they go hand in hand. All right. Let's hire another carrier. Now we're going to have to order an Uber Eats pretty soon. Yeah, as soon as we get farms and ranches, yeah, we're home free. What we need now is a bigger population to be able to do those things. So in my mind, I want to like... How many people do we have unemployed? Two people? Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, we, we would start now making a change to... Building that population now for the next two years and then go for food. Somewhere around year four seems like the right time to worry about food. Like year one, it's like firewood and basic food production. Year two, expand on that. Year three diversify a little bit more with your income and different types of goods you can import or export. Oh, we could import pork, though. I assume that'll last a lot longer. Wait, 50, 55 would do? Yep. Well, let's... Alright, guys, we're gonna have a... We're gonna have a pork rib barbecue down at, down at the camp. I don't want to see any more food problems. We're gonna try to fix that. All right, so as for the mining, now we got to do... I, I would just say, like, at this point, I just want to spend all my money on upgrades. Upgrade to get more iron. That would allow us to get more hunters. Nice. Is there a vegan alternative? Uh, pizza rolls, question mark. I'm sure they don't have any real meat in them. P 
heater is a roll. It looks like we're low on stone. Let's get somebody to work at the stone mine. Then we have one extra worker. These types of games are all about baby steps, because if you're not limited by money and resources, then you're limited by, like, population. It's like always one thing. It's either your resources, your money, or the actual amount of people to do the work. It's always a fine balance. Good, now the food problem should be solved. Amen, brother, 101. Amen. All right, so now we finally have enough food for a little while, at least. We're getting there. Cult activities, what? Some form of religious cult seems to be spreading around the populace. They continue to spread pinto blasts and blue like buttons and try to get somebody to click or tap join to become a member right now, taking advantage of awesome giveaways and wonderful emotes in the chat. They do not pose a threat for now, but the church is getting anxious and demanding that we resolve the issue. Hmm. I agree. Inform the garrison to conduct investigations. Safety would drop or religion would drop. Um, oh, let's go for the second one. At a screen like that, it'd be good to see what your numbers are at so you can make the right choice. Because I don't know. Wait, how do I see that stuff again? Oh, yeah. Religion was at 98, safety's at 66. But I think that'll go up if we build like a guard house or whatever. Oh damn, now we have a thousand firewood? Damn. I guess we can go ahead and just go down to two people for that. Jeez. Clothes shop. Carpenter's hut. Oh, we can start making clothes, but that probably takes leather, which we have some of, I'm pretty sure. Fracking prey increases hunting lodge efficiency if near a forester's hut. These two are kind of near each other. I think we should do ice fishing, though. But both of these have to be researched first. Well, let's go for construction goods. That actually increases the efficiency of coal mines, iron mines, forester huts, and toolsmiths. And uh, brickworks. That's a good upgrade. Uh, Osterive, that's the other building game kind of like this in more modern times, like the 1700s rather than medieval. It's O-S-T-R-I-V. It's very similar to this. Very, very good, very good game, just like this. The crown is in, has in, what endeavors all around the globe, and it's the duty of each subject to help make that happen. From now on, the king is raising taxes on certain goods. Iron trade fee is increased to 17%. Okay. Cool, so now we'll get a more bigger bonus for that. I'm going to save for the carpenter's hut. Allows construction. Oh, production of furniture. Oh, cool. We can start selling furniture for big money. That's cool. Yeah, this this is the type of game that takes a long... Like, it's a very slow game. You know, it's... It's not like you're going to order a uh, something on Amazon and get it shipped over. 
Everything had to be gathered by hand, made by hand, shipped by hand. There was no combustion engines or automation. Spendog, becoming a little raptor. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for the support. Well, we can continue to sell firewood then throughout the year. We got 1,200 firewood. Damn. I'll we'll sell a little bit of that. Good. Now we got 400 bucks. Well, we should probably increase coal production. We'll spend it on that a little bit. We need that for the tool maker. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the Forester's Hut. Planting speed increased. We'll need some more lumber soon. Yeah, this is like Alaska. Alright, planting increased. That seems to be the only thing we're low on now is wood, so we'll go with that. Ooh, a convict ship. Oh boy. The king wants us to take on convicts now. Oh boy. build their own houses. Do I like caviar? I don't think I've ever tried that before. I'm not opposed to trying it, though. Okay, let's sell another roll of firewood. Firewood is profitable. We're going to keep putting that into our hunting. It's a good idea, though. Like, once we've upgraded... I guess the only problem with this would be... Once our hunter lodges are upgraded... If we're going to do farming, we have to do it up here. Because if we demolish the hunter's hut and stuff... We're, we're going to lose all those upgrades and all the money we put into them. So we'd have to do, like, farming up here. We could probably start, like, another town... Like, put a couple of buildings here, and then just have a bunch of farmers here, and then maybe a, a mill nearby. We have happy people. That's good. The lowest thing right now is safety, probably because of the whole convict thing, but... Yeah, every time I think we've fixed our food problem, there it is again. Okay, now we can gather things faster. Alright, wood seems to be a little bit of an issue. Oh, now, actually, now we're starting to get some. Old fee increased to 19. Damn. Okay, we'll get another person working there. Yeah, okay, we gotta put people in the food industry. Alright, so food's going up, right? Oh, it's equal. 171 and 171. For now. I think we need another forester hut then. We need more. 
Okay, we'll do a forester hut here. Actually, I think these buildings will get a bonus if we... Oh yeah, let's put it there. That'll be fine. Uh, yep, the cre the uh, the developer of the game is in the chat. So if you want to ask any questions about the game or its pricing or uh, DLCs or soundtrack or whether or not you should become a member of the channel by clicking and tap and join, go ahead, go ahead and uh, go ahead and feel free to ask. And it looks like we're very close to having yet another giveaway in the Discord too. In fact, I have a builder game. Oh, I actually have quite a few keys to a builder game that I could do a little giveaway to. That'd be kind of cool. Could do a giveaway. I guess. Okay, now we got to increase log output. Log and food are very important. Your attention to chat is amazing. I mean, sometimes. Our chat is usually a little slower, though, because our people will actually have conversations in our community versus just kind of like endless spam of shout out, notice me, whatever. It, it's pretty focused. Chat's pretty focused. What is the Discord link? Exclamation point description. And that part just slaps right there. Speaking of city builders, we're also going to be playing uh, Industries of Titan tomorrow, too. That'll be a sponsored stream, and it comes out tomorrow as well. So if you like medieval stuff, but you also like sci-fi future stuff, Industries of Titan is quite good, too. You can make ships in that game, like spaceships. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm actually really, really afraid of that game. There's a lot, there's a lot to learn in that game. It's not hard or impossible, but it's 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 like someone putting a big textbook on your desk and being like, "All right, get reading." It's like, "Oh, okay." It's gonna be a long day. Okay. Looks like we can have even more workers at the fish place. Oh, look at that! Now we're producing 365 food, baby, baby. But we'll probably use more in the winter, so let's get ready with that. Okay, we have one worker left over. We need more at the woodcutter. Woodcutter's two out of three. Quarryman's one out of two. <laughs> Trader? Oh yeah, we have somebody working at the dock. Royal tax increases. Man. All these taxes. Obviously, the king is not running for re-election. Oh, wait. Bum, 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 bum. Are you done with going medieval for the moment? Exclamation point schedule. Bum, bum, bum. But like with this game and all games, we'll come back to it eventually. If you want to know what though, exclamation point schedule. YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? No. Uh, is the Streamlab bots broken now? Of course. Well, anyway, as always, everything's linked down below in the description. I think Streamlabs is either dead or sleeping. Cloudbot should be here. Automatically every time. Yeah, we need to fix this logging situation.
I think we can cut down on the... Wait, firewood's being used quite a lot. Let's increase. Let's take a look at numbers. Lumber is still going down. Man. Bum, bum, bum. You're waiting for us to get to 1 million subscribers? Well, we could we could literally get there right now. If, ever, if everybody's subbed, if everybody watching is subscribed, then we're good. We'll be at that million in no time. The bigger the channel gets, the more we can get back to our community, too. Oh boy. And now it's raining again. Yeah, let's build a couple houses there. Bum, bum, bum. You watch the videos for a long time and realized I'm not subscribed. Yeah, that's usually why I mention it. A lot, a lot of people just might forget or get unsubbed for some reason or unsubscribed and then came back and forgot to resubscribe or whatever, you know. But the, the bigger the channel gets, the more I get back to you guys too. So even if we don't hit our member goal, you know what? Give away in the Discord after the stream because I'm having a great stream and I think I'm just going to do a giveaway already. So if you're not yet a member, smash join. We'll have a, a giveaway after the stream of yet another building game. I think you guys will enjoy. As long as I can find the keys, I got I got I got to dig those out of the old treasure chest. Either today or tomorrow, I'll grab them if I can find them. <laughs> they're deep. They're deep in the old cave of wonder down there by the lamp and the the carpet and the genie. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Another sunken ship. Give me more people. And that's why we built more houses. And we need even more. Alright, let's make sure all the jobs are filled then. like we're okay for now and everybody who's free can get to building a house maybe we'll save this area for a market we'll do some houses down here I don't want to cut that tree down that tree is too cool There we go, we'll build five new houses there. I'm gonna have to order a shipment of lumber. This is getting crazy. I wonder if I if I ship out two hundred and order two hundred. Oh, okay. We have to buy first. Bum, bum. Yeah, the there are boats in the game, but there's no animations for them at the moment. That's something that'll be coming later. Again, remember, this is a demo of an alpha of a game that's not yet released, so... I mean... Considering that it'd be like two things to kind of hinder the game's like it's it's hard to Give the game any sort of like true and fair rating because it's not complete, but 
Pretty damn good so far. Uh oh, looks like all the trees disappeared. I guess that doesn't matter because. Oh! Thank you for downloading the patron demo and giving it a go. As you probably noticed, some features are locked out of the demo, and that includes the indefinite game time, which were limited to two hours in the demo. You're more than free to start a new game if you wish to check out the current alpha version. Demo some more. We're looking forward to reading your thoughts, comments, and critique on Steam Forum and in the Discord. Aw. Ooh, gain favor with the Holy Church. Uh, leather and Fish, Religion plus 10. There you go. Wow, we, could st we still kind of can play. Don't, don't tell. Ah, there we go. Alright, so keep in mind, if you download the demo, it will limit you to two hours, but that's still plenty of time. I would recommend them playing at least at, like, five speed, just to try to see a little bit more before the end. See if you guys can get to farming before uh, before the end of the demo. Seems seems possible. Once you once you give it a go, the second run should, should be a little bit more knowledgeable. Alright, now, I have a surprise for all of you. Let me, uh, let me, get, let me get the surprise. Hold on. Let's see if we can find the surprise. Ah, uh, here it is. Perfect. Hold on, wait. Alright, there we go. Okay, I have a surprise for you all. I would like everybody to not miss out on the surprise. Let's see, hold on just a second. All right. There is a new video out on a city builder right now and another kind of city builder coming out a little bit later today and an yet another city builder in a different style. There's three more city builder games on the channel today. So, there's one out now and there's two more videos about to be released, but if you guys want to check out a real cool city builder where you don't necessarily build the city but you build the infrastructure around it, go check out Power to the People. You can build nuclear power plants and bridges and... Um, and power lines and all sorts of different uh, substations and such. It's a very challenging game and also has a free demo, just like uh, Patron does as well. So go to that link right now in chat. Everybody go to the link in the chat right now. Come on over. Tap back over to the chat. Get over here. Click that link right there and go check out Power to the People. That's another video that just went up a little while ago, and I'd love for you guys to smash like on that video and smash like here and go ahead and spam the word, let's say... Fish. We were doing a lot of fishing in Patron today, so go ahead and spam the word fish on that video and the links in the chat right now. Go check that one out. In 15 minutes, there's going to be another video released, and in another like hour or two after that, yet another video after that. And we have a live stream to do tomorrow of Industries of Titan. There'll be a video out tomorrow on Industries of Titan, and then two streams. So don't miss out. We've got a lot of city builders to go this week and a lot of giveaways to do, too. Don't comment fish here. Go over to that video, folks. Click or tap the link in chat and go over to that video and comment fish right now. Get over there and enjoy yet another fun city builder. I'll see you guys a little bit later for more, probably tomorrow, for Industries of Titan. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good night, everybody. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members. And don't forget, member members... Once you uh, become a member, jump on that Discord for some fancy giveaways. I'll see if I can drop some keys now for yet another fun building game. A factory game, perhaps. See you all over in the Discord shortly. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Smash like, nerds.